Hello guys, this is the uh, reformatting uh, video and I'm going to show you the process of uh, reformatting my PC. It's a DV1588EA HP Pavilion and uh, this, is, this process is going to apply to DV1000 series and DV2000 series from HP with XP um, Home or Professional I think. And uh, this is part one of the video, uh, the preparation. So basically, if I go to my computer, I've got um, this is a 100 gigabyte uh, computer, and these are my hard drives on the PC. If I go to, oops, uh, if I go to properties, right there, you can see I've got. Uh, I emptied most of them uh, all of them had like uh, 100 megabytes remaining on them uh, it was totally cluttered and mainframe uh, it's almost full 34 gigabyte hard drive space uh, in the C drive and I just have four remaining that's really really bad um, and you have uh, the downloads drive I've uh, emptied it and then I've got uh, data 1, data 2 and projects and uh, multimedia yes yeah, so I've emptied them all uh, into my um, external hard drive which is 80 gig 74 gig and um, if I just go into there I've, I made these folders um, two keeps so uh, this is all the two keep uh, things from the D drive um, they're not really sorted out um, all of this is like uh, I think 35 gig or something that's quite a lot okay 33 gig so yeah that's the stuff I need to keep the rest is into the C drive and uh, useless so yeah basically on my um, external hard drive I created this folder Windows reinstall and uh, I made a few things up here um, a list of requirements for reinstalling stuff different formats same thing and this is the online shortcut I've put a link into the description you can check it out it's gonna be probably useful for you as well if you're gonna do the reinstall you can edit it yourself if you want and and um, yeah so this is basically the HTML file it's uh, currently online you can click the link and go there uh, it's uh, on my server my website server so basically we've got like well five different operating system options so basically if I wanna install uh, you know what do you call it Ubuntu with uh, add Ubuntu add-on I'm gonna go into software and I'm gonna look at the number here it's 001 001 and sorry it's 001 it's 002 and then 001 so I'm gonna go in uh, 001 002 and 001 and I've got the add Ubuntu add-on thing um, I'm waiting for the latest uh, Ubuntu edition so I can download it as well it's gonna come tomorrow I think and yeah and if I want to install something like um, say for example mm, drivers for my computer you know hardware drivers like uh, the display card reader and all that I'm gonna go to 002 and 001 so that's going to be 002 and 001 and I'm going to have all the hardware drivers here like you know wireless, quick launch, audio, card reader, bluetooth you know all the bluetooth um, setup files and stuff um, and if I want to say uh, install something like 
uh, you know antivirus like smart security by the way everything here is an order of installation so we've got the operating systems primary requirements which have to be there you know t for the computer to run properly and uh, so if I want to install antivirus it's uh, you know um, 002 here and then it's 003 and then 003 so I'm gonna go into 002 and 003 there and 003 again there you go it's not sorted for some reason and yeah if I go into there I've got the uh, things here for installing uh, Nord32 basically the whole smart um, security suit and yeah things like dotnet framework which are very important for everything to run and first of all you're going to install windows installer before installing net, net framework because net framework is not going to install without the latest installer okay so next we go into secondary software secondary requirements so the first thing you need is winrar to start installing third party stuff and then you're going to install mozilla firefox the best one ever and you know I'd actually prefer uh, Google Chrome but it can't do some things which uh, Mozilla Firefox can it can't open JavaScript links in new tabs which Mozilla can so yeah okay and uh, Adobe Flash, uh, Java, Power ISO always on top, PDF Reader and then we go into tertiary requirements things which you don't really need but um, you know, it depends on what you use and stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna download VLC and you know Google, you know messengers and DevX Xweird, Codex, you know FTP for my websites and stuff, and Nero for burning and uh, you know. So if I want to install um, Visual Studio 2008 Professional, I'm gonna go into um, it's zero zero. 003 sorry yeah 004 and then 012 so I'm gonna go into 004 and 012 which is here and you have the uh, thing right here and by the time you reach this place uh, you would have made sure that you've installed power ISO so you're gonna use power ISO to mount uh, this ISO file and then install it and then you can uh, add on the PHP addition and then you've got some other stuff here like Windows 7 theme which I'm using right now and um, you know uh, I'll go to fun autograph Camtasha these are optional requirements I, I don't really use it Currently, I'm using Camtasia right now, and yeah, I'm actually using all of those. And yeah, more available software here, which is like R at R. You know, sorry, can't talk. Yeah, these things are the ones which are available on the hard drive, but I don't really have to install it, just like the top ones. But I'm gonna have to install these ones, but I'm not gonna install these ones. I mean I can if I want to so yeah I've got a few games there as well like um, you know, Need for Speed Underground 2, Grand Theft Auto 3, Counter Strike and I uh, had a few other games as well which I haven't shown here you know most one are down that okay so all the ones are like these ones here mean uh, you can you know you need to install the latest one at that point uh, after we reinstallation and uh, two mean uh, not that two uh, like these ones here these ones twos and threes so twos are you know used operating system recovery disks which I have hardware and threes are live CDs alright then uh, I'm running out of time that's a long video alright then uh, take care thank you for watching the video part please watch part two uh, the link is uh, Wait, 
going to show you let me make it more interactive the link is right in here click into this box and you'll go to part two all right thank you bye